Haha, <laughs> stupid furry. I can only imagine Shep's thinking, what's with this sassy lost child? Hey, looks like you like interacting with furries. Here, have some more. Huh? Wait, actually, good question. What am I doing there? Why are you dragging me into this? I'm just trying to exist. But honestly, that's pretty much how it goes for most people. If you interact with a thing more and more, whether that thing be sports, games, or furries in this case, you're gonna be recommended it more and more, regardless of what you're commenting on it, whether it's like, I like this, or I don't like this. Furries are awful. I don't like them. The algorithm doesn't care. It sees that comment is like, yes, give him more. It's a wonderful little feedback loop. And here's the kicker about all this. Little do they know, this is how getting into the furry fandom starts for some people. Cause see, if you keep getting recommended more and more furry stuff, it's only a matter of time before you find something you like about it. I mean, take it from me, someone who started as a technical furry hater and ended up here now. Granted, after watching a lot of Majigar's Strawberry videos. Still, the anti-furry pipeline is real and this is a prime example of how it starts for some people.